Hi, I've bought this Commodore Plus 4 on eBay list that has non working as is and well it was as is. CPU was fried, RAM chips were bad. RCAA chip was damaged, PLA barely working. I thought how hard could it be to make it work again? It contains most of standard passes. Well, I was wrong. It took a little bit more effort to restore it to working order. At first, I thought Commodore 64 CPU should fit well, and I was having one lying around. Unfortunately, it is not 100% equivalent as some bits on user port are missing. But at least, but at least uh, it get me going and showed that TED chip was fine. I've developed this little board. It is 6502 uh, CPU adapter, regular one, and it uses regular CPU. You can find plenty of. Chinese stock or what that and some CPLD um, logic and buffers also since there was some space on the board left I and I'm a Thai user rather than Commodore I thought base 64k is not enough so I put the 25 uh, 20 uh, 256k of static RAM and implemented HANS type of memory expansion. All we need to do is pull the old RAM chips out and connect column address strobe from TED chip back to this board. Uh, if you can't mm, or won't pull out uh, old RAM chips because it's too complicated or whatever for you, you can cut a trace here uh, to separate the column address strobe from RAM, old RAM chips, making them in refresh mode only so they would interfere with uh, workings of this extension or simply don't connect uh, this line at all uh, leaving you with basic 64k of RAM and um, just replace the CPU I don't have any disk drive for the Commodore, at least not working on actual, I have uh, 1571, but it only reads the disk I have, and they are all for 64. But I've just designed this SD to ESC clone. And uh, I will just use that. For the rest of presentation. Anyway, let's see how it works. Uh, by the way, it has it has GFIDOS installed. Um, I've bought recently because I didn't know this drive can be so slow
Thanks for watching. Bye.